depending on the pH, amino acids can exist as zwitter ions. Zwitter ions have a positive and a negative charge, therefore overall have a net charge of zero, unlike an ion such as a cation which is exclusively positive or an anion that's exclusively negative. Particular amino acids exist as zwitter ions at particular pHs and the pH is denoted as pi. So you could select any one of these amino acids and at that particular pH they will exist as a zwitter ion. And at other pHs they will exist exclusively as a cation or an anion. We'll take a look at that next. Here we consider what happens to amino acids when they are in a very acidic environment and in a very basic environment. Now I say the same, that we start off with the same amino acid, for instance. And when we put this amino acid in a very acidic environment, we flood it with hydrogen ions, or H3O+, and we remove that negative charge because the H plus latches on to the O negative. The positive charge on the nitrogen remains. On the other hand, when we put the amino acid in a basic environment, we flood it with hydroxide ions, we remove the positive charge from the nitrogen and retain the negative charge on this oxygen. This slide summarizes the ideas that were just presented. Here's an amino acid in a pH equal to its pi, or its isoelectric point. At its pi, it has zero charge because it has a positive and a negative charge on it. When the amino acid is placed in a very basic environment, such as pH 10, we remove the positive charge, therefore it exists as an anion. When the amino acid is put in an acidic environment, we remove the negative charge and retain the positive charge, therefore it exists as a cation. And finally, amino acids are least soluble in water when they exist as zwitter ions because their overall charge is zero. Amino acids are much more soluble when they are in a pH above their pi. That's where they exist as anions, or they are in a pH below their pi. It's where they exist as cations.